Well, I was gonna go make a video today, but considering the weather, I think I might just go home. Okay, I'm gonna make a run for it. Of course, I forgot my umbrella. Here we go. Ugh. Oh no. Ah, oh, it's fogging up in there. I'm home, Bella. Why are you not so excited to see me? Did you do something wrong? Or maybe it's just that she's a little camera shy. Hello, everybody. Tampa J here. I started to go make a video today, but then I got rained out, so I came home. And I wanted to, I wanted to introduce you to Bella. I've actually, she's, it's not the first time you've seen her on one of my videos. It's been a while, though, but... She's a sweet little girl. All right guys, so yeah, we're at my place of uh, dwelling. I don't know, my, the place where I stay, actually here. Just, just chilling on the couch. But anyways, welcome to the channel guys. If it's your first time here, this is something totally different than I normally do. I'm usually out exploring events, places, all kinds of fun stuff. But today it's raining, it's a typical summer afternoon in Florida. I'm sure the sun will come out and evaporate all that water into the humidity and it'll be hard to breathe, but <laughs> I'm not complaining. But um, I'm glad you're here. Let's take a look around um, where I stay and also um, once the rain dies down a little bit, I know it wasn't what I originally wanted to do this morning, but we'll go explore uh, a little bit around where I live, the area, which is Tampa Bay. I live on Tampa Bay in a little town called Oldsmar, so we'll continue. There's much ahead. I know it's very eclectic over here, but this is where I temporarily live. I actually live in the bottom floor of my parents' place. Um, if you've been following the channel, uh, there's an explanation for that, so I'm not going to get into uh, ancient history, but this is just a transition. So this is where I edit most of my videos, pretty much all of them, unless I hit up a Starbucks, which I do that too. And Bella, actually, she's my little editor over there. She helps me. Looks like I got a few messages, Bella. What are they saying? I am a lover of movies and film, and you can see my entire collection is all stacked up within all these boxes. I need to get like some sort of uh, some some sort of a rack to put them on however like I said I'm in transition I don't know I might be moving out of here soon but you can see yeah I know what you're thinking no human being stacks VHS tapes like that or May still has them but I love the VHS and I love the old school Nintendo NES look at that Super Mario Brothers there's my Nintendo down there it still works but yeah I got all kinds of goodies old VHS the Karate Kid 2 Oh, look at this. The first Power Rangers episode, Day of the Dumpster on VHS. Five Goes West, Back to the Future. I've got a lot of Ghostbuster VHSs too, of course, which is my favorite movie, Ghostbusters. Yeah, so back in the day, I used to be in a band, and I played guitar, bass, and drums. Um, I like to play the acoustic guitar, and I used to like do coffee shops and write my own songs. However, it's been forever and a day since I've picked up that and tried that I've, but anyways yeah here's a couple of my guitars and my guitar cases I want to shout out to Jeff from Cray 80s he sent me this awesome button that he got from a pizza place called I think it was called Pizza 80s he drove all the way he drove like through like three or four states to go to this 80s pizza cafe and this is one of their buttons and it's Ghostbusters and pizza so it's like the greatest button ever. Yeah I played sports in high school so I got a lot of like trophies and whatnot throughout the little place here and a really big random fish on the wall. Out back behind where I live we have access to a dock that leads out to Tampa Bay. The water looks exceptionally brown, but you can see the rocks in the bottom. It's very shallow up here. We're at the most northern western part 
of Tampa Bay, Oldsmar, Florida to be precise, and then over here to the right is Safety Harbor. Hey, I think the sun might be coming out finally. Hopefully it stays out longer than it did last time. I've been wanting to do more live streams out here, however, the cell phone signal is not so good in the Oldsmar area, or neither the Safety Harbor. Locals will confirm. All right guys, so I'm getting hungry. I don't have much to eat in the fridge, so I think I'm gonna go out and find something to eat. Go out for a drive and explore a little more of Oldsmar. Oh, look who's happy to see me now. Oh, maybe I should take her for a walk real quick. Yeah, let's go for a walk. What you sniffing there, girl? She always be sniffing. Uh-oh. We have a perpetrator off into the distance when she sees him or her. Bella, look. Look. A bird. Over there. No, not here. Not over there. You got lucky, bird. Very lucky. Well, I'm glad the rain has gone away. I wish the sun would come out on Tampa Bay. We come now to Radley Field at R.E. Olds Park here on Tampa Bay in Oldsmar. Ugh, man, it's so wet out here. Oh, jeez. I've mentioned this before, but Oldsmar was founded and named after R.E. Olds, the founder of Oldsmobile. And there's a picture of him on the right. Last summer, I had the uh, pleasure to drive up to Lansing, Michigan and meet with a few friends and we got to explore downtown Lansing where R.E. Olds was from and very cool that I got to see, I didn't get to go inside, but I got to drive by the R.E. Olds Museum. It was very cool living in Oldsmar here where he used to own all this land and developed it and then just randomly running into his museum up on my first visit to Michigan. So I thought that was pretty cool. Not only did R.E. Olds live in Oldsmar, his brother also did too. And their houses still stand here where they lived. They're a little down the street, but this mural's pretty cool. It looks like it was painted by someone by the name of Lakima T. Matthew. And I hate when people litter. Good choice on the Wawa. Bad choice on leaving it there. This pier right behind here, I have a lot of memories, especially back in high school. I did also finish up my last two years of my high school, my schooling, here in Oldsmar. We used to come out here at night with friends. Sometimes we'd fish, sometimes we'd just hang out. I thought this thing was pretty neat. Check it out, it's a, a bike fix-it station. It's got everything you might need. Whoa. The camera fell. It's got everything you might need in case you need to adjust or fix something on your bicycle. And look, if you got a flat tire, you can even put a little air in it. As calm as the water is, you would almost think it's a lake and not the bay to the Gulf of Mexico. Yep, but... Um... Welcome back to Oldsmar, folks. Welcome to Tampa Bay. Welcome home. <laughs> and I was just mentioning R.E. Olds' home here on Tampa Bay, and here it is right here. That is where he lived. He built the home in 1918. Just kind of strolling by. I don't want to disturb the owners. I actually have been inside that home before. I was there for a New Year's Eve party, a neighborhood New Year's Eve party. Uh, a friend of the family's invited my family over for a party, so that was pretty cool. I got to see some old uh, photos of the time that R.E. Old stayed there back in the early 20th century, so that was cool. I just thought I'd show you that. It's a very Florida house. Look at all the uh cacti. 
we come now to downtown Oldsmar. Big city life right here. Walking up to the window here, notice it says art gallery. They have a little art display in here, but what I want to show you, it's Sunday, so obviously it's closed, but right behind the glass here is the original Oldsmobile, an Oldsmobile Deluxe. And this thing actually does run, I've seen it in a couple of parades here in Oldsmar. There you go, there's a better angle over here, the glare. With the glare it's hard to see, but you can kind of see it in there. But Ari Olds, Oldsmar, Oldsmobile. Oh, there's some art over there on the wall. That's pretty cool. Okay, now it's actually time to get some food. I've been putting it off way too long, I'm starving. I'm proud to present to you one of my favorite places to eat, actually my favorite place to eat in Oldsmar, Wooden Ladle. All right, it looks like we have all kinds of things here. I like the pho here, I like the ramen here, I like the poke balls. I like the poke bowls, but the new thing I've been trying lately is the pokey tacos, and I'm gonna get a dragon taco. This place is pretty cool and fresh. I like I like Asian cuisine food. I'm not a picky eater. I'm not a picky eater. I eat pretty much anything. Check out all the awesome drawings on the walls of people eating noodles. This is a noodle shop. If you like manga or anime, you might recognize some of these. I don't know, maybe they don't exist. Maybe they were just put here for the restaurant, but I'm sure these are real comic book strips. Well, my Vietnamese iced coffee has arrived, along with a nice little jug of water there. My dragon taco has arrived. Looks like it's avocado, spicy mayo, some fried onion straws, raw tuna, and some other stuff that I have no idea what it is, but it is delicious. I have had it before. Okay, this is gonna be messy. This is gonna be worse than my first time at Taco Bell when I was like three, maybe two, I don't know. But look, look at all that. Isn't that crazy? That's a big taco for $7.50. Oh, I'm out of focus. That's a big taco for $7.50, but let's try to take a bite. Mmm. Oh, man, that's good. I guess if everything hits the fan, you can always pick up some chopsticks or a fork and just eat it like this. Piece of tuna there. Ba 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 almost home. I was born in a small town and I live in a small town. tried. <laughs> I love that song. But anyways, Bella and I are uh, calling this video quits. But thanks for joining me. Um, something different today again. Uh, if the rain comes, I always try to think of something else to do. And of course, you're coming with me. And I hope you enjoyed a little tour of where I live and what I do. If I'm uh, not making a video, or if I'm editing, I usually do exactly what you saw today. So I um, appreciate you guys. Hope you had a fun time hanging out with Bella. And um, that's it. That's the end of it. If it's your first time here. There are more exciting adventures ahead. And just like I always say, there is. You want to say it? <laughs> yeah, I'll help you with that. <laughs> there is. Much ahead, my friends. Always.
much ahead. Goodbye, y'all. All right, now, I gotta try to figure out how to play this song again. See you later.